So, so Wilbro is an incubator. Um, we work with very early stage social enterprises, for profit social enterprises, but enterprises which are innovation based, right? Targeting villages of India. So that's what I do. So we pick these companies very early stage, provide them capital, little doses of capital, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, tons of mentoring, lot of connections, and infuse talent in the form of a global fellowship program that we do. Uh, talent, money, connections, and mentoring can make a big difference to growing those companies and them racing Series A. Mm -hmm. That's when we exit. So, 55 enterprises, uh, all of them have gone on to create around 4,000 jobs, uh, touched around 400,000 lives across villages of India, uh, crude impact assessment estimates. Right. But um, off late, um, our portfolio is really becoming very, very strong. Where eight or twelve out of our eight, eight out of twelve companies in our portfolio mm -hmm. have gone on to raise Series A venture funding. Um, uh, racing from existing social venture funds in India, uh, be it an Acumen, be it an Avishka, that's good news for us. Uh, we're still early stage in terms of maturity of business models and therefore I think there needs to be much riskier capital that needs to go in to even for business models to mushroom. Forget about scaling them at this point, right? Um, Take take the automo automobile industry outside uh, the U uh, outside India in the U S for right. that matter. So many cars. It's a well oiled machine. People know how cars will be bought. They know how cars will be financed. They know how cars will be manufactured. The entire ecosystem is so well oiled and, and built. We're no no way there when we look at the poor as as a customer as a producer. So I think there's a lot of work to be done to create business models. And I don't think necessarily venture capital is the only form of capital that should go in. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, venture philanthropy, pure grant funding, a lot of governmental uh, grants should go in. <coughs> so I think I certainly believe this is the stage where a lot of business models should mushroom mm -hmm. and some of them will mature. And then is when you can really grow and growth capital is required for some of that. There are models that have scaled, for instance, microfinance, if you right. think about it. Uh, but in the social enterprise sector, talking about a product, a service, ambulance services for poor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and various other models. There aren't enough models that have matured, which can then be replicated, globally grown, that kind of thing, right? So to get into that level of maturity is where the challenge is. And I'm saying for that, I believe there's a lot of risk capital, not necessarily equity venture models that should actually go in. Mm -hmm. and I think that's where the ground should play. I think that's where lots of foundations should start possibly investing in building those business models. Mm -hmm. Then comes growth capital, then comes venture funding.